What's up guys, this is KH Limited and today I have another video for you guys and today I'm making a theory video. A theory video is something that I haven't done for a long time and it's something that I've done when I first started my channel but I never really continued after that. So I'm deciding to bring it back and today I'm bringing another theory for you guys which is called Vanitas' Return in Kingdom Hearts 3. So in this theory I'm going to be talking about how Vanitas is going to return in Kingdom Hearts 3 but more importantly what his role is going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. So let's get started. First of all, if you don't know who Vanitas is, it is the dark side of Ventus. In Birth by Sleep at the starting, when Master Xehanort was trying to train Ventus, he couldn't stand up to the darkness and he had to split Ven's heart into two sides, darkness and light. The light part is Ventus and the darkness part is Vanitas. So now that you know this, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to be answering the question, why would Vanitas come back in Kingdom Hearts 3? He died in Birth by Sleep, right? So why would he come back? So there's two things that show that he may come back in Kingdom Hearts 3, which are pretty strong evidences. Number one, he was in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, the game that leads to Kingdom Hearts 3. If Vanitas did die in Birth by Sleep, there would be no need for him to be shown in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So he was shown in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So when he was shown there, that's obviously a reason for why he might be in Kingdom Hearts 3 or they wouldn't even show him. And the second evidence is that he was in the Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser trailer. Obviously, this is a really big piece of evidence because in the Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser trailer, they only showed a few clips shown really fast and Vanitas was in one of them. So if they showed it in the Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser trailer, obviously, he's probably going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is why they added him in the teaser trailer. So with these two pieces of evidence, I will tell you now how Vanitas will come in Kingdom Hearts 3. So there's one way Vanitas could come alive in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is when Ven comes alive. So as you guys know, Ven is alive, but he's in a deep sleep and his heart is taking refuge in Sora. So in Kingdom Hearts 3, one of the things that they'll have to do is wake up Ven. So I'm thinking is that when Ven is woken up, Vanitas will also be woken up. This part, I don't know how it's going to happen since Vanitas is with Ven right now, since he had the mental fight in Ven's head. So we don't know right now if Vanitas is forged with Ven right now or how he is or where he is. So when he wakes up, he might be a part of Ven already or he may come as a different being how he was in Birth by Sleep. So in this theory, I'm going to be talking about how it would be if Vanitas was still a different being from Ven. So he was still his own person. There's one of two roles Vanitas can have in Kingdom Hearts 3 and both roles take place at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3. And from the two roles, the first one is a really small role and the second one is a fairly large role. So let's get started with the first one which is a small role. So in the first one, Vanitas' role is going to be attempt to overthrow Master Xehanort but fails. So this is how it's going to plan out. So like Kingdom Hearts Birth Sleep, Master Xehanort is going to give Vanitas a task to do overall in the game. An example of this is in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Master Xehanort told Vanitas to forge the Keyblade with Ventus. So that was the main task Vanitas had to carry on throughout the whole story and that's what he had to do. So like in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, in Kingdom Hearts 3, Master Xehanort is going to do something like that to tell Vanitas to do. And later on, Vanitas is going to be tired of being under order of Master Xehanort and disobey him. An evidence of that happening is in Birth by Sleep when Vanitas was about to disobey Master Xehanort and kill Ventus, which is not what Master Xehanort wanted. He wanted him back into Forge the Keyblade. Killing him might have uh, failed the plan. So obviously Vanitas doesn't like Master Xehanort. There's a lot of evidence of that in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. And he does want to disobey Master Xehanort. So this would kind of start in Kingdom Hearts 3 him being tired of Master Xehanort and wanting to disobey him. And after, Vanitas is obviously going to try to overthrow Master Xehanort. As he doesn't want to be ordered around by Master Xehanort, he's going to try to overthrow him so he could be his own master, he could do what he wants. But then Vanitas underestimating Master Xehanort's power is easily defeated by Master Xehanort. So does Vanitas form back with Ventus or is he permanently defeated? It's hard to tell. So with this first part of the theory of his role in Kingdom Hearts 3, we don't know what's going to happen. But basically what the main part is that Vanitas is going to be defeated and that is the official end of Vanitas. So that was the first part of the theory. But now I'm going to be talking about the second role he can have in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is a much larger role. So again, this takes place at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, but basically what's going to happen in this one is that when Master Xehanort is weak, he's going to be asking Vanitas for help, but Vanitas kills him off and becomes a villain for the future Kingdom Hearts games, for example, Kingdom Hearts 4 and so on. So let me set up the scene for you. So again, it's going to start like the first part of the theory where Master Xehanort gives Vanitas a task and Vanitas is being tired of being under order of Master Xehanort, so he decides to disobey him. So Vanitas takes a proper time for this and he waits for Master Xehanort to be weakened. So at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, when Master Xehanort is at the brink of his death and Sora and the gang are about to defeat him, basically he asks out for Vanitas' help because that's the only one who could help him in that scenario. So Master Xehanort is seeking help from Vanitas and Vanitas is the only one that can save him. Vanitas will obviously not even give it a second thought and just kill him off right there and then Vanitas is ultimately going to become the new villain of Kingdom Hearts 4 and so on so that's kind of my other theory because since there is going to be a whole new saga I was thinking maybe Vanitas could be the new villain 
but obviously there are a lot of holes in this theory such as we don't know if Vanity is even going to come back and another part is what will the role of the foretellers be then in Kingdom Hearts 3 or Kingdom Hearts 4 so obviously we don't know those things but this is just a fun theory that I want to share with you uh, the small role of Vanity being that he tries to overthrow Master Zaynor but fails the second part being that he wants to overthrow Master Zaynor and he is successful and becomes the villain in future Kingdom Hearts games so, but another thing about the second role that he would have in Kingdom Hearts 3 is what would his motive be because in the whole Dark Seeker saga and Kingdom Hearts that we've been playing through this whole time, Master Zaynor has had a motive. He's wanted a balance between darkness and light, and also he wants to recreate the Keyblade War. But what would Vanitas' motive be? We know nothing right now what his motive would be. I have uh, done research and he had a motive in the Kingdom Hearts manga, but I'm not going to be going into that because it's totally different from what it is now in Birth Leslie, so I'm not going to be going for that. But in Kingdom Hearts 4, if he is the future villain, what would his motive be? And that's the question I want to ask you guys. So put down in the comments below what you think of this theory and if Vanitas does become the future villain of Kingdom Hearts 4 what do you think his motive would be what would be his main goal that he wants to get so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this theory that I made just for fun so you guys could enjoy the theories that I make and hope you guys enjoy these future videos so thank you guys for watching and remember my goal is to get 1000 subscribers so sharing and subscribing would help immensely and remember to comment like share everything all the good stuff and remember the possibilities for Kingdom Hearts are unlimited later